Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Oster, and I'm the Military Sexual Trauma Coordinator at our South Texas Veterans Healthcare System. I'm Dr. Betsy Davis. I'm the Local Recovery Coordinator here at the South Texas VA. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and we came together to create a series or video series called What to Expect at VA. And this is to help get you more acclimated to understanding some of the services that maybe you're interested in participating in. Over the next two months, you're gonna see a number of different videos pertaining to mental health. And today, our topic is what to expect when you speak to the Military Sexual Trauma Coordinator, or me, at your VA. Um, this is a very sensitive topic, so if you feel like this isn't the right time to listen, please move on now. As I mentioned in our first or previous video, one in three women and one in 50 men report military sexual trauma to their VA providers. And this shows just how important it is for us to be talking about it, as well as talking about what it looks like to be treated for conditions related to military sexual trauma at our VA. Military sexual trauma is defined by VA as any sexual assault or repeated sexual harassment that occurs during your military service period. Every VHA has a uh, military sexual trauma coordinator, and my job is to help navigate veterans who endorse MST to the right place. So that means educating staff on, tra on trauma-sensitive language, on mental health, as well as physical health services that may be important for veterans who endorse MST, as well as making sure that we work with eligibility and work with other providers to make sure that people who have endorsed MST get what they need from our facility. Great. So if someone were to call you as the MST coordinator or if they had their provider um, ask you to give them a call, what can they expect from that initial phone call? So first of all, um, I will ask if you are in a private place so that I can introduce myself and talk a little bit about the topic. Um, and then a lot of times, if it's the first time that you're talking about MST, I will ask two screening questions to see whether or not you've experienced sexual assault or repeated sexual harassment during your service period. Once that happens, it, it will go into your medical chart. And that will mean that we have a green light to start figuring out what services you qualify for, you're eligible for, and that you can receive related to MST. We will talk about the fact that it's a very brave step to come forward and endorse MST for multiple different reasons. And I will give you information about what types of options are available to you. So there are multiple different mental health treatment options and clinics and programs that you can participate in. And once we talk about it, I can put the referral in for you to talk to a mental health professional if that's what you want. So for these veterans, will you likely be their therapist? No. Most likely I will not be involved in your clinical care, and that's because on the side of navigating and getting you where you need to be, I want to be completely available to getting you there. So I won't be your therapist, but I will make sure you get to the right place or the right clinic. Awesome. And um, if someone has questions about their eligibility for VA healthcare, um, where would they start? So this can sometimes be a complicated question, especially because a lot of the time, regardless of discharge status, regardless of how long you were in the military, you qualify for MST-related care at VA. So one way to figure this out is to, is to call me and we'll obviously provide my contact information. Um, and also to walk into eligibility, who will be able to also tell you, give you answers about what you do qualify for and loop me in if they need to in order to figure that out. So what about the claims process for MST? Where would someone go to get started with filing uh, for service connection? 
So the best way to start that process is to go to the eBenefits website, which is ebenefits.va.gov. And when you're filing a claim for MST, while they keep us at the, on the mental health side a little bit separate of that, what I can tell you is that when you file a claim, you don't specify it's for MST, you specify it is for a condition related to military sexual trauma or your MST experience. So something like depression or PTSD or symptoms that are related to this experience that you had. So going to the website is the best way to get that started. There also is a benefits, an MST benefits coordinator who helps to facilitate that. Um, and I can give you that information as well as some of the providers that maybe you do speak to, as well as it is on the eBenefits website. Um, so that's what it means to talk to me at the VA. Um, I hope that this helped to kind of demystify what that may look like, and I look forward to helping navigate you uh, to where you need to be.